Hi everybody, welcome back to Two Stall Stitchers. This is Jennifer and this is my mom Carol and we're coming to you today this Memorial Day weekend from the racing capital of the world, Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, while everybody else is out around the racetrack and um, having lots of parties, we're here to Drinking talk about our beer. stitching. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks a lot to those of you who are back with us again and welcome to those who are new. Um, I think this is floss tube number five. We didn't write that down. I'm pretty sure it's number it is, five. It is number five. And we've had a few other... Plus uh, two bonuses. Bonuses, yeah. So today we're going to answer some questions that you've asked. We're going to show you lots of whips and new starts. I've been crazy during mania. You've been nuts. Not as no. crazy, but but busy as well. Um, and then we'll show you some haul. Um, we'll do our giveaways from last time. And we also have a few things to show you with yarn this time. Yeah. So um, why don't we jump right in? We'll start with okay. the, the quilt behind us. And this is mom's quilt. So she's going to tell you okay, about it. Okay, this is the five yard quilt which is called the alternating four patch i've made probably six or eight of these I was at least say ten. Yeah. ten it it goes together so quickly and the best part is as you're cutting it out you cut the entire thing so when you're finished cutting you have your all your your segments you have your border and you have your binding yeah. and you're done um the one thing i have found is if you do it uh cut out one list for the binding because you then you what you don't need it but uh, this is my dog quilt, which I made for me, because you know I have a dog who is here and hopefully will be quiet during yeah. the, the, <laughs> the broadcast. We'll see, yeah. uh, as long as nobody walks by with their, their with other their dogs. Dog. Yeah. So he was just up in arms a few minutes ago. Yeah. But yeah, this is a fun quilt. It goes together very, very quickly. And um, it's kind of a nice one to have around. I, I showed the uh, all the pink and black fabric that I picked up from a friend and then I got more in Chipshawana last week. Um, it's if you need a quick quilt this is one that you can put together quickly you can do it all over pattern on quilting and then you've got it ready and if somebody says oops and you go ha got one yeah so and all ready. you need is five five one yard one cuts. yard cuts and then the quilt Backing. back and, and, batting. and our opinion on quilt backs is that they don't have to match the fronts they just kind of generally go with the theme so like she wouldn't put uh, blue on the back of this because there's not a lot of blue now that I say that there's yeah. probably blue on the back no actually I had a bunch of, I found this on yeah. a sale rack and I don't know that you can see it up close but it's all puppy dog prints yeah footprints and so it was perfect and it was on a sale rack so that's yep. why it's there yeah, so we'll put the information in the description with the quilt name and the designer, and hopefully you can still find that pattern. It's a good one. Uh, and like you said, a, a nice gift yeah. quilt. It makes yep. a, a really nice lap size quilt. Not big yeah. enough for a bed, but perfect for a lap. And also, if you happen to go in a in a, a sale room, you know, it's easy to pick up. If they, like when yeah. at Chips you want, lots of times they have this, the sale room $5 a yard, so you can make a quilt top for 25 bucks, and that's yeah. pretty good with the binding. Yeah. Then you can pick up a couple more yards for the backing and you're finished. All right. So that's our quilt of the day. Yep. Um, so now we'll jump into questions. We have quite a few questions from our last two episodes. So some come from Floss Tube 4 and some come from our um, special episode about retreat. So let's start with a question from Kathleen. She asked about the pattern for your July 4th star embroidery you showed last time. That was from Creative Kiwi, and it's an online store. You can get it, and it is called In the Hoop Stacked Stars. They show it in two different uh, uh, ways. One is the patriotic, and then another one is just like you could put in a baby's room or something yeah. like that. Uh, but it, that was fun to make. Yeah. That was good. All right, and then uh, Shelly asked about how to find the bonus episodes. So Shelly... Um, if you look just below this video, you'll see our channel name, Two Tall Stitchers. If you click on that, it will take you over to our channel. You can click on videos and you'll see all of the videos that we've posted. So you should be able to find the bonus episode there with my daughter. Um, or the one about the quilt retreat. Yes, or the one <laughs> about the quilt bonuses. retreat. Yeah. Um, then Scotty Dog asked on my lighthouse piece, is the background print printed? No, it's all stitched. It's a lot of stitching on that one, but mostly it's half stitches, so it goes pretty fast. Um, Suzanne asked on the last one we showed your jelly roll quilt, if you add more strips to the jelly roll, does it make it longer or wider? It would make it longer, I think. I think it I does both. It, it might make it some yeah. wider. 
Yeah. But uh, it's enough sewing that there's no swinging way. Um, although Debbie had extra strips, remember she, yeah. hers? Yes, because I yeah. think we mentioned that one of the gals was making it, and she used a, a, a jelly a roll from jelly Walmart roll. that mm -hmm. was very generous, and her quilt was significantly larger than ours. Yeah. So yeah, if yeah. you had extra, if you know, if you wanted for a, a queen or a king, you know, I'm just sure you could going. just keep going. <laughs> I don't know Crazy. how many you'd have to add, but that's a lot of yeah. stitching. It's a it's a, a lot, lot of, of straight line sewing and, and a that's... lot of keeping things straight so you don't get to the very end to figure out it's twisted. So yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Uh, Vicky asked, "How tall are we?" So Vicky, I am uh, five ten and three quarters, and I am six feet. Yeah. Even though I look taller than we she does, we haven't figured that out. We, we can't quite figure yeah. that out because every time I'll we sit down. Sit um, I'm, I'm taller than mom, but, but see now I'm sitting up no. really straight. Yeah, but so, but am I. so is she. So. <laughs> so we don't know why. Cause when we stand up, and she's we're on the same chairs, <laughs> we're on the same chairs. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's my butt that's pulling my chair down. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Okay. Uh, for everybody who enjoys your humor, there's, there's piece number one for this episode. Okay. Um, Mary Lynn asked when you're sewing with pre-cuts, do you cut off the pinked edges? No. I don't either. No. 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 You just wind up with little bits all over yourself so you look like you're decorated for yeah. a party. Yeah. I think the thing that I learned early on sewing with pre-cuts is choose a consistent quarter inch. Either do it from the outside of the pink edge or the inside of the pink edge. I usually choose the outside yeah. because that's usually plenty of space. Um, but that I think that's the important piece is that you're consistent in what your quarter inch is. Um, Ginger asked, with our stitching, do we ever make pillows and how? Yes, we do. I would show them to you, except Wonderhound is sleeping on them. Yeah. Um, I have made pillows and for, the, well, those are big ones for quilting, but I've yeah. made small ones. I should have grabbed it. It's right over there. Uh, for um, our fall retreat, we had a, an exchange, a fall small, and I made yeah. small. And um, really, there's some really good tutorials. I don't think yeah. we're the ones to, to tell you how to do stuff. Check out I... uh, Vanna Pfeiffer. Check out Hands On Design. Yeah. Um, Vanna is the Twisted Stitcher. She has excellent uh, videos and yeah. sodas. Um, and written tutorials. Yes. Yeah. And okay. and uh, Kathy Haberman from Haberman from uh, Hands On Design. Yeah. They both do a lot of small finishes, yeah. and so they would be the ones to really. Yeah. And those are the tutorials that we use we when use. we make pillows. I'm and sure there's others. I'm sure there's yeah. a lot of others, but those are the two that we yeah. kind of trend toward. I think I had a pillow in our first episode. I think that was my yes, episode that I shared. Yeah, yeah. and my Christmas yeah. one is around here somewhere. Somewhere, yeah. God knows where. All right. Um, Susan asked, who is our framer? Um, we, we both used a lot of different framers. More recently, I had a couple pieces framed at Michael's that I shared um, recently, I've done a little bit of my own framing on smaller pieces. Um, you've used... I've used Hobby shops. Lobby. We used to use Joann's, but there's not one close to us that frames anymore. Yeah. It's probably a 30-minute ride away, and, and yeah. there's others that are closer. And I know at Hobby Lobby, if you take the frame in, they will frame it for you. So if you have a like a custom-made frame or uh, you get something from Kay's frames, um, you can uh, take it in. And that's what I'm planning to do because I was working on finishing last night and this kid's no finisher. <laughs> no finisher. <laughs> Um, Margo asked about uh, our sewing machine. She wanted to see pictures. So if you look closely in the pictures at the end of the, the quilt retreat episode, you'll see us sitting in front of our machines. Yeah. But we didn't specifically take pictures of the machines. I uh, most often sew on a Janome um, 6600. I've had it for a long time. It's the second machine I bought, and I love it. And that's what I usually take to retreat. And I have, my big machine is a Janome 11,000, which is also an embroidery machine. And then uh, it's a combination. And then I have a smaller one that I take to retreat and, and Jennifer sews when she's here and Kathy yeah. or Pam. And that's a, a, a Janome 9160 and I love it. It's mm -hmm. very stable and it has a thread cutter. That's the best part. Yeah. And then my, uh, well, we also have my mother-in-law's featherweight yeah. and she made clothes for my husband and his brother and they are older than dirt. So it's been around a long, long time. I think we aged it. It's a thirty-seven. Yeah, it's, it's in the thirties. Late thirties yeah, featherweight. Yeah. Yeah, and a, and we have a really nice 
box that it fits in that was covered in leather. But when we lived in Houston, my husband put it up in the attic for storage and the roaches loved the leather. So now we have a brown box with little tufts all over it yeah. and a wire handle because they even eat the leather off the damn handle. Yeah. Okay, and then the last machine I have is my embroidery machine, which is a... Um, baby lock. Baby lock spirit. And I love it. And that's strictly embroidery. And um, I've done a lot on that. Yeah. It's not uncommon that you have two machines going because no. she has her her main machine and her baby lock set up like in an L shape so she can get the embroidery going. And you do have to pay attention to oh, it. Oh, yeah. But then you could also be doing something on your other machine right. in between. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, Barbara asked about our retreat and going to Shipshawana and whether you could fly or catch a shuttle. Um, sorry, fly and catch a shuttle or whether you would need to rent a car. And we think you'd probably have to rent a car. We're not aware of any shuttles. The Chicago airport is probably three hours? Yeah, at least two and two, yeah. two and a half for sure. Yeah, probably the, close, Fort Wayne. the closest the airports Fort Wayne. would be Fort Wayne or South Bend, which are both small airports, but even those are still an hour, yeah. close South to Bend's, an hour South away. South Bend's close to an hour. Yeah. yeah, so you'd probably need to rent a car. Um, I would offer that we could pick you up at one of those airports, but we have no room left in the car. And if you saw the picture at the end of the quilt episode, you, you understand. understand why. Yes. yes, yes. Um, and then Lady Legionnaire 13 asked on your Mexican star, do you turn it back like you do a cathedral quilt? I believe so. I haven't done it yet because I've never done it. And so I tend to put those things off and I okay. thought I would have it finished by the time we got to this one and didn't. So yeah. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll work on it and I'll tell you, but I'm pretty sure it's the same way. I know it yeah. gets stitched down. I just have to break down and try it. Yeah. Okay. I think that's all the questions. If we missed one, just let us know. Um, and if you have any new questions, feel free to ask them and we'll answer them. We try and answer both in the comments and then here as well in case other people saw the question and had the same question. So I think then we're ready to go into our whips and new starts. And um, I've been stitching like crazy with Stitch Mania. You've been stitching a lot, a lot. with Stitch Mania as well. So, But I didn't start as much, yeah, sort of. Yeah. So I'll just show you quickly while Mom's getting her stuff together. You can show oh. yours first. So okay. I have this little calendar, and I pick this up each year at Target. Um, they have it in the dollar spot, and that's where I record my stitching each day and so this sits upstairs with me next to my stitching spot i have another calendar downstairs that my friend beth gave me that i use for my quilting and that's where i record um, all of my quilting activities but i really like having this nearby so i can record kind of what i stitched on each day and um, my plan for stitch mania was to spend three days on each project and i would have five new starts and then work on my five whips and your plan for stitch mania started stitch. out <laughs> supposedly i was yeah. going to do something like that but you yeah. know that went to hell in a handbasket very quickly <laughs> so um i was working on well that's kind of a finish so what did i start um i didn't I well, you started the thing that's your finish. You can, I think you can show it Can now. I show it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because it was your stitch um, mania. It was yeah. your whip and your finish um, and everything. All this this was my, my, I started this, and this is another one of my, I was using a scrap of material, so I don't have quite as much room on the bottom as I should, probably. That's Jennifer's fingers right at the bottom. <laughs> but January is done. I only have to do February, March, April, May, and now June has come out. So, yeah. you know, I'll catch up at some point. I think I saw July the other day. Oh, too. God. Don't <laughs> tell me that. Okay, so but this is country, country cottage needleworks, and it's the a sampler, and that's all I know. It's the monthly sampler. It's the monthly it's that's come out this year. All about Instagram these days. You can yeah, and you can probably find this at most right, stitch shops. Right. Yeah. And do you know the linen, or was this a mystery linen? That was out of my bin. Obviously, okay. not long enough out of my bin. <laughs> if I'd started a little higher, I would have been a lot better off. But yeah. I thought it was plenty long enough. But guess what? Yeah. And then um, the other thing I was working on, and I showed this the last time, is um, this is the Rovaris, and it's the um, red white. It's a home sweet home. And I finished the sweet, which is boring. And then I got a good start on the bottom part of the heart. So I still have to yeah. do the top. But I really enjoy this one. It's fun to stitch on. And uh, it's on a, a gray um, linen, I think. Swigart base. Probably. Yeah. I'm not sure. 
Yeah. I started it like a year ago, so, you know, I've slept since then. And let's see what else. Okay. Then you may remember I showed you that I was making this pattern, which was a freebie from Tiny Modernist, and it was Noel. And I was working on it, and I showed Jennifer, and I said, I don't think my, paper's, my fabric's going to be long enough. So she came she up with... She had the with, N and the O in. <laughs> and I was working on the E, and she said, I don't think you're going to make you're it. You're going to make it. So she said, change it to Joy, because you've already got the O. So jumped right in, um, ripped it out, and made it Joy. And, and I haven't gone back to it, but I'll finish it up. That won't take long, and that could be my Christmas ornament for maybe this month or next yeah. month. So that was And the, this one you stitched with your new Oh, with sulky the sulky threads. threads. And yeah. I really like them. They're really neat. That was fun. That was fun. So I did that. And then um I think that's Oh, oh, no, no, no. This wonder wonder thing. I did I cheated and I did two segments. This is the Christmas rules by Lizzie Kate. And I got those two segments done. So now I only have two more cards, which is four more segments. But they go so quickly because they're, you know, it's not a, a, a full stitch. You know, it's, it's full coverage. Yeah. And so I love working on this. So um, we'll see. Hopefully I get and it done. And we're going to answer the same oh, question yeah. we get every time. The fabric on this is? From another YouTube. <laughs> it's Crystal Jade, Jade by Picture This Plus. Plus. Yeah. And it's sparkly. It sparkles, and last we knew, Diana at Fancy Works still had some of this. So if you're no promises, um, if you're looking for it, give her a call. Yeah, yeah. And I think, yeah, I think that's it. What's that little one on top of the? Oh, well, that's a finish. Okay, okay. That's a surprise. So then yeah. I will jump in, and I have a big pile, so I'm going to bring it over a little bit at a time. Um, so I started Stitch Mania with a start, and so for the first three days, I started my first Plum Street Sampler project, Goody Grimwood. This one, um, I'm not usually a Plum Street person, but this one just called to me. I thought it was kind of funny. And I'm doing this on 40 Count Stars Hollow um, by Picture This Plus, I believe. It is the called for fabric. It's my first time stitching on Ford Account. I didn't know what I would think about it, and I love it. It's really nice. Um, I'm stitching two over one. The only thing that's deceptive is, like, that's a ton of stitching, but it doesn't really look like it over one. Oh, it's only over um, one? It's only, oh, sorry, no, one, one over thread two. over two on 40 Count because it's so small. So that one came along really nicely. I stitched on that. That was a weekend that I started and I thought as I go along I'll show you. So this is my project bag that this one is in. And I think I shared this project bag before. This is one that I've made. Mom and I have used the pattern by Calico, which is linked in the favorite tutorials um, that we have on our channel. So um, that's the first one I stitched on. The second one I stitched on, so this was a whip and um, I added to um, charting a course, and I forgot to bring it today, but I will, <laughs> I'll insert a picture here of how far I got. So I spent three days making some more progress, and I was working on the rocks, and in three days, all I stitched was gray. Um, but it was kind of exciting gray because it was started to fill in the rock area. So again, I'll go ahead and insert a photo here. So So you can see the progress that I made. That one's down in my basement. I don't know why I forgot it. All right, so then the next one, it lined up nicely that the first two weekends were new starts and I had more stitching time. Um, so this one is, I'm calling it Rovaris the Joy Reindeer because they don't really name their patterns. This is one mom gave me for Christmas. Um, Hold it closer. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I decided to do it in red. And so, and this is, I'll look at what it's on in just a second. So here is my Joy Reindeer. I'm really happy with this one. I really like how it's coming along. And then I also wanna show you my needle minder. So I got on a kick about a year ago and made a bunch of needle minders. This is a Ski Winter Park pin. When we were growing up, we skied at Winter Park almost every year. 
and we got a new pin each year and once you kind of get done skiing well I'm not done skiing but we don't ski as often I don't know what to do with my pins and so I pulled a bunch out and I made needle minders out of them so this was kind of well, fun that's a good idea yeah and um I just took a dremel and I popped off the back of it and I did I managed not to pop off my finger in the process which That's was exciting. really good and then with some E6000 glue you just glue on a, a magnet and so the back of your pin now becomes a needle minder that was a big magnet I would do it with smaller thinner magnets um, so that's the Rovaris Joy Reindeer and I'm stitching it on 32 count vintage country mocha. And let me slide this back in here because the pattern is right in front. And that came from? And that came from crossstitchingsupplies.com. And this is in my ornament project bag, which again, I think I showed this one last time. Um, but really like the 32 count vintage mocha. And I'm really happy because I think I'll be able to get another piece on that. There will be enough of it left over after the reindeer. Okay, and next it was back to a whip. And you guys know this has been my lunchtime project for a while. This is Holiday Wishes. It's a Janlin kit I got several years ago. And I'm working on the snowman. And I got him along far enough that I started some back stitching. I finished filling in all the white, gave him his smile, his eyes. I might have even finished some of the cheeks um, and did the shading around the bottom of his head. And then I started doing back stitching up here because there's a lot of back stitching in this guy. So I thought that would be good. And actually, it's super easy when you're watching TV or something like that just to kind of follow the outline around the edge. So um, this guy will become my lunchtime project again once we get um, into June, and I'm looking forward to getting him finished. Okay. Next. Okay, so the next one is my Scattergood sampler, and you may recall I showed this last time. I bought this Bethlehem Weeks Dye Works to stitch on this. Pretty purple fabric, 32 count violet mist. And um, this is a, it's a pattern that's just printed right on the page and it's called the Scattergood Sampler. And basically it's all specialty rows. And so I started it and I stitched on it for two days and I hate it. <laughs> I, the first row I thought looked really pretty. The second row looked over. Oh, I skipped the second row. This is actually the third row. Um, and then what I what I found when I put in the second row, and this is like row six, when it's not an all across pattern, I just don't like it. So this one's going in timeout. I don't know if I'll come back to it. I might just take the stitches out and reuse the linen for something else. I I do still like this. Um, thread so I'll figure out some other way to use it but that was my that was my failure project um, and actually I was working on it when we were at quilt retreat and I would stitch, she was not a happy I would stitch and say I don't like this I don't want to work on it so the third day of my three-day rotation I didn't stitch yeah. and this is in my little camping project bag and my friend Monique made this and gave this to me when I visited her um, in South Dakota a couple of years ago all right, that's the first step. Oh my lord. I know, it keeps going. See, I couldn't do this. I could not have this much okay. hanging over my head. I mean, I really do, but I don't admit it. <laughs> okay, and the next one, I forgot to look up what I'm supposed to call this. This is my Star Spangled birthday piece. I know I called it pulled thread. I know, it's, it's, it's like counted. Needle point. It's like needlepoint. It's like needlepoint. I, I, I know. Two of you have told me the right name, and I, it's just a mental block. I can't get it. So this is my Star Spangled Birthday, and I worked on this for three days and had a really good time, and I finished up all the sky with that gorgeous variegated blue, and then I started on the outline. And right now you can see a lot of the waist threads behind it, but when I fill this in, um, you won't see the shadows of them. Well, you had a lot up here the last time, too, and they're all gone. I did, yeah. All these are cut off down here, almost all of them, and these will get cut off when I do the border around the top. 
So that's coming along really nicely. I will put this back into the regular rotation and work on that as I as I feel moved. There's a random needle. Oh, great. We'll put it there. I don't know what it goes. Oh, it there goes go. to this one. Okay. All right, then my next one. Um, so now we're about at the middle of the month. Let's stick, Let's stick into something. Yeah. yeah. So I had the Lizzie Kate Spring Smalls. I have already stitched, which one? The bunny. And I decided I wanted to stitch the word spring. And so this is stitched on 30 count lamb's wool with some of the called for colors, but I didn't quite like how some of them work together. So I changed up the purple and this green. Um, if you're interested to know what I did, I will be happy to share the colors I used. Um, but I got really far on this one. This is why I love Lizzie Kate, because in three days you could yeah. almost finish it. Yeah. I think it'll take like just another day. I have to put in the S, um, which has flowers in it. So it's kind of, you know, there's a, there's a little bit there. And then I have to do the big X's across the bottom. So this one I will come back to quickly to get a nice finish. And then I do plan to finish that one in a, um, a little pillow. And this project bag I don't think I've shown yet. Um, this is my, I think, Parisian summer kind of fabric. I got that. I thought it was really cool for a project bag. And it has just a green grunge, which is also on the back. And so I thought that was perfect for spring. Doesn't yes. that kind of say, Looks very springy. say spring? All those people outside yes. with no masks. <sighs> that will come. That will yes. happen. Yes. Okay, and then my next one. <laughs> She's crazy. Is Lizzie Kate's Snow Place Like Home Part Three. So this is a series I'm stitching throughout the year. So this one was kind of fun because it is a whip, but I got to start a new part of it. And so first I'll show you how I got on the new part. There's there's Snow Place Like Home with the heart, and I got a couple of the snowflakes in. I think you can see some of that white. So this also will be well, a pretty quick finish. No, that'll be and fast. this is Country Cottage Needleworks. Um, and then here's the three pieces together. And I did substitute the blue that was called for for a Needle Necessities blue. Um, I, re I had it in my stash and I just grabbed it. I really like the variegation of that blue. So once I finish the middle, then I will have two more houses that will go on this end. So that was a fun one. And this is stitched on something that was in my stash. I don't know what um, what linen this was. It's a mystery linen. Uh, but I think it's 28 count. Okay. Show Two. that bag. Oh, oh. <laughs> Come on. My mom made me this bag. This is my doggy bag. So it has the cute, all the doggy words on the back. And it's then it's a, in the a white grunge in the front and a nice red. And my favorite mom made it for me. That's what she always <laughs> says to my kids. You're my favorite 14 year old grandson. <laughs> He's also the only one. And the only one. And of yeah. course the princess is my favorite granddaughter. Yeah. She just looks at me and says, Gran, I'm your only granddaughter. I said, well, that's okay because you're my favorite. <laughs> she said, but I'm the only one. I said, but you're my favorite. <laughs> so we go around and round about yes. it. Yes. And then my next start was from this book, Sand, Sea, and Cross Stitch uh, by Anna Field. And I saw this on Instagram a couple years ago, put it on my birthday list, and my brother sent it to me because it's on Amazon, and that makes it an easy, an easy present to send. Yes. And it is this lighthouse. It's called Lighthouse ABCs. Um, this, there's great, like, very kind of to look at clean, primary, yeah. beachy show them the cover. projects. I just oh. did. <laughs> well, show them again so I you can see the it the cover up again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Lighthouse ABCs. And I had a good start on that. And I got the first two sections of the lighthouse done. And that's not variegated. This is all charted in DMC. And so it's just from a lighter to a darker thread. And that's how you stitch it. So that one was good. I think this one will go pretty fast too yeah, when I come should. back to it. There's yeah. one more blue section up here than the top of the lighthouse. The alphabet and then, the and then a small 
um, like waves. Oh, down the alphabet the will go so quickly. Yeah, I love doing letters. Yeah, so that was a fun one, and this is. I don't know what this is on. I don't know. Some kind of white bag. linen. Yeah, it's it's a twenty eight count. It's oh, it's whatever's called for in the book because oh. I actually took the book and and bought it. But yeah, it's a twenty eight count like white linen. Okay, and now the last one. This is my last project, which will take me through Sunday. Um, and this is Heinz it. You guys have seen this before. Welcome to the lake. And I just stitched a little bit yesterday on it, and I have not yet stitched on it today. So hopefully between today and tomorrow, I'll make more progress. Um, I had two AK before, so I got the E started, and then I'm starting the M in Welcome. E finished. No, there's oh. there's two other colors. Oh wow, There's like that's three right. or yeah. four colors that go into the little letters and. I think you know, 17 that go into the big letters. Um, so that one will get some more love today and tomorrow. And this is the project bag I have this in. Um, and I made this just from fabrics I found, I think out at Ovation and fell in love with. So that's this one. And then that leaves us with Monday. I do plan to stitch on Monday. I don't know what I'll stitch on. Either I'll be like kind of moving along on Welcome to the Lake and oh, I'll yeah, keep going on that fun. one or I'll decide I want to go back and if I have some good stitching time on Monday I could finish spring yeah or yeah. maybe that joy yeah piece so or a big chunk on the lighthouse we'll see yeah I I will go back to one of those so that's on my whips okay uh, do well. you want to talk for a while <laughs> Okay, we'll go to finishes. Last night, uh, one of the other day, Jennifer said to me, "You know, you need to. What I do with the? There it is. You need to get some finish, something fully finished. You know, work on the light, the little house. You know, get something done." And I said, "That's a good idea." So I came upstairs yesterday and I fiddled around, and finally, about nine o'clock, I thought I really should start trying to finish something so I have it to show. So instead, um, I showed you this that I bought down at. Fancy Works, the last time we were down there because I had some red and I had some little. And I thought, gee, I wonder if that'll work. So guess what I did? Oops, where is it? <laughs> Instead of finishing, so you guys could see a finish, I did this guy. And I did him all in a couple hours. It was so much fun and it was so cute. And I did it with That's the... Cute. Uh, no, I did use the B5200 uh, yeah. floss. DMC. Yeah, yeah. DMC, because I couldn't find my white um, yeah. sulky, which I wanted to try. But there's enough room on there to do the second one. Oh. So there's two on there. So I just thought I that was adorable. Hot, God knows how That's somebody's going to finish That's cute, and it has it? like little ice skates, little Christmas bells. Trees, rocking horses. Hearts and stars. Yeah. I think those are sleighs. Oh, oh that could be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's not That's a rocking cute. horse. Yeah. That's cute. So that was my it's surprise. Little. Yeah, that was my surprise That's finish. Perfect. Yeah, I, I got out my little ruler to measure, and I thought, it's going to fit. <laughs> Which is, you know, with me is, is very surprising. I'm impressed that you measured. Me too. <laughs> but after I screwed up yeah. a couple times lately. And um, that's my only finish because I didn't finish my joy. Well, you finished your January. I don't I know finished where my January, January went, yeah. but you did finish It's that. down here somewhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. done. And um, okay. so, yeah, so okay. I had two finishes. But in the meantime, I've always, I, I think, I've been, so, oh, I made a sewing machine cover yesterday. You didn't see mm -hmm. it. See, there it is. It's cute. And yeah, and I used we'll up. We'll show it next time. I, I yeah. used up. Um, all the pieces of a charm pack. It was great yeah. that I had left over. So that was nice. I got them finished. So, and I've been doing some other sewing and um, I finished the... You're basically procrastinating because you're up to the hard part yeah. of Mexican stars right. now, right? So yeah. now I'm just yeah. putzing around. Okay. That's okay. And all right. So that's all this. We don't oh, have any FFOs. We don't have any FFOs, but I will next time for sure. Because I have to get my monthly ones. June starts on Tuesday, so I have to get June finished because I put that out in my house. So <laughs> isn't she um, wonderful? Yeah. So I'll so. probably finish June and maybe hopefully a few other things. Okay. So we yeah. can go to haul. Yes. And we have some winnings and we have a gift. Yeah. So we're gonna start with the I'll gift. I'll start with the gift. Yeah. Stitch in my stash was one of our winners uh, on our giveaway for our thousand. For a thousand. For a thousand yeah. subscribers, and. I um she she said she this is a thank a nice you, little, yeah. which is really neat. And so I'm doing it. Uh, 
It came to my address and it had my name on it, so it's mine. And so it's a Heinzit and it came with a little a charm and everything. And I was going to work on this, but then I got carried away and started on the other one. Yeah. So that was thank my. Thank you very much. Yes, Stitch thank you, staff. Stitch in My Stairs. That was not, really not nice of you. Not expected. A nice surprise. Yes, very yeah. nice surprise. Very nice surprise. Yeah. And then for those of you who watch Priscilla and Chelsea, you know they have a huge giveaway every week. And Jennifer has actually won twice. Only received yeah. one, but she's won twice. Yeah. And um, I know somebody commented that they were excited to hear when they, when she called Two Tall Stitchers. So was yeah. I. Because I called her up. I said, how does she know who we are? And that was. <laughs> but anyway. And so then uh, two weeks ago, my name came up. I was shocked. Yeah. So I won the this Sail Away pack. Yeah. This is the bag that came. And it's the Sail Away. And I'll show you what came in it. It came with all the floss that you need for it. It came with the uh 14-count 14, 14 Ada that you use, use for it. It came with the floss biddies to hang all your They're floss cute. on. They're cute. And it came with a needle minder that looks just like the hanger. And then I went and ordered the pattern. And it's a mystery, but at this point it's done. So this doesn't have all the segments, but um, I ordered the pattern. And so yeah. now I actually have it all together. So hopefully I can remember where it all is. And I will get started on that soon, I hope. Yeah. And so that was that was my winning, and that was kind of that neat. That was fun. Um, so we have a deal with each other that um, if one of us wins a giveaway, we wait until we, we can, find I can't out. call her and say. Like, she can't call me and say, you won, you won a giveaway. <laughs> but last week, well, the weekend you won. <laughs> She called me, and, and usually I watch Priscilla and Chelsea on Sunday morning, and she watches on Saturday. And, and she called me, and she said, "Stop! You have to you have to watch now. You have to watch because I won. I won. I can tell you because I won." <laughs> so I got on. I fast forwarded. She told me where in the video it was. I watched them call her name, and that was kind of fun. Yeah. So that was yeah. kind of neat. Yeah. And then for Hall, yeah. um, we went down to. Um, no, we just fell down the rabbit hole. Oh, no, Instagram. we didn't go for this one, yeah. We didn't go. Uh, we went, we, we just called, and we did, Jennifer talked me into this, and mine's out of the bag, so it won't show. Yeah, yeah. But this is the Flea Market Flowers, and it's really pretty, and what the heck, what's one more project? And there's a big stitch, a stitch along, along starting yeah. June 1st. Right, So I guess right. come Tuesday, we'll be getting, we'll be getting yeah, this up, yeah. and... Um, and we both had most of the floss, yeah. so I have mine in here. Yeah. You have a mix. I still have to buy yeah. a few of them. I bought these, which, yeah. you know, these were here, and then I had these. Shocking. I actually yeah. went into that huge bag that I showed you the last time, and I found one, one or two. Yeah. I was stunned. And then I'm going to do it on this 25-count um, ivory Lugana, which came from... Um, CrossStitchingSupplies.com. Cross and I'm going to do it on 25 count antique white Lugana. So we'll have just a little bit different colors, um, but we'll get this started before yeah. next time. I think we're both using the called for colors. Yes, that's and the then, plan. Yeah. Uh, my other haul, I love hands on design stuff, and I was on her, uh, I don't know, she was, she was talking on a floss tube or I was on her website, but somehow I fell down another rabbit hole, and she had this on sale for 20% off along with the floss. Well, you can't pass it up if it's 20% off. So I ordered this from her, which I've always liked, and then on top of that, I got the um, the Sulky Petites, and this is the uh, Give With My, Give with heart, my heart collection. Yeah. It's made specifically for this pattern. So of course you have to order it if you're going to make it. Yeah. So that's another one to start, but I... I don't think I have the, the fabric for this yet. I may actually have some. You probably have I've, something I've, that'll work. Yeah, yeah. I have no doubt I have something that might work. work on the stuff we dyed the light blue, the aqua blue. You have to lay it out. Maybe I have to change see. a it few might, colors. It might be too yeah. much. But yeah, yeah. And I didn't buy anything else. I just bought the flea market and the Lugana to go with it. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I know. Well, that's because you haven't been to Michael's yet. Oh. Yeah, yeah, probably. We'll probably go after this. Yeah. And then she'll, I think, oh, And then yeah. I'll buy more stuff. It'll be a secret, yeah. 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 Okay. okay, now we... Um, let's see, we have a little bit of yarn of progress, yes. both of us. Yes. So mom knits and I crochet occasionally. Um, I'm not a fast crocheter. I've 
I taught myself about six or seven years ago now um, via Craftsy. I took a Craftsy class and taught myself how to crochet. I was really impressed. It, it was kind of a sad occasion. We were on our way to Houston for my sister's funeral, but she had her iPad with her and she sat there on the plane and for two hours taught herself how to, cro to crochet. Yeah, which learned. is amazing. Not, because I can't say taught myself. I took well, an you, online you, class and yeah. learned through the class. Yeah, yeah but I mean, I cool. um, I've tried to crochet for years and I have absolutely yeah. no luck. And here she is getting off the plane saying, "Oh, now I can." But crochet. I've never knitted. No. So I bet it. if I tried to knit, it wouldn't go well. Yeah. So we both we each have a finish. Yes. You want to share your? I've had these first? done for quite a while, but I keep forgetting to show you. But there's some socks. I love socks. I love to make socks. I have enough yarn to make socks for the world. Um, I have really made not let myself buy any lately, uh, which has been really hard. My friend Kathy comes and she stares over the side of the machine. She shows up and said, is that new yarn over there? And I'm like, no, no, that's still the same. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I finished this up and I started another pair when we were doing introductions to Quilt Retreat. And I don't have them up here, but these are finished. Do you know the name of the pattern? No. Or the yarn? No. Okay. <laughs> Well, if we can it's, find that quickly, we'll put yeah. it in the description. Yeah. But I love yeah. the self-striping yarn. Yeah. One time I was working on socks, and my husband looked over, and he said, how does that stripe? How do you do that? And I said, what? He said, how do you make it stripe? I said, I don't. God does. <laughs> so he's never asked anything since. Oh, gosh. Okay, and then I have been crocheting my first sweater. I started it when we were on our, our little... Trip in trip, Michigan. Michigan. It's called the um, Airy Lace Shell from Lion Brand. And so I got to hold that real close because I a tiny picture. printed this incorrectly and it came up super tiny on the paper. Um, but that's okay. I managed. And I'm using Cascade Yarns Avalon that I bought at a, at a shop that unfortunately closed during the pandemic. Oh, we love that shop. And here is... My finished but not yet blocked sweater. So it's a shell. It's kind of this is the the seam. Once it blocks, it'll be nicer. But it's meant to be worn with like a tank top under it. Um, Unless you're really sexy, you don't wear a bra even. <laughs> but uh... I will be wearing it with a tank top under it. <laughs> um, and the best part is it fits. It was kind of a question because you crochet the first side and then the second side and you sew them together and as I kept doing it I was like eh, this doesn't look like it's gonna fit but it does so next up on this one is blocking it um and then hopefully I'll get to wear it soon here yeah so that's our yarn progress and I think that's everything we've done yeah. So now we're up to giveaways. We had a couple of giveaways in our last episode. Um, for our, our 2000. last floss tube for 2,000 subscribers. And so um, we had three things. The first thing was the Mill Hill Spring okay. kit. And we had 61 comments for this. And our winner is Brenda Foy. So congratulations, congratulations. Brenda. And what you're going to do, Brenda, is send us an email to twotallstitchers at gmail.com and uh, let us know you're over 18 and send us your address and then we will get this out in the mail to you. And uh, the email is in the description box below. Well. So you yeah. don't have to remember it or frantically write it down. Yeah. And then our second was the Harriet's Handwork Charm Pack from... Um, who. I can't remember. Betsy Chechen. And we had 120 comments for this. And our winner is Jennifer Ingram. So congratulations, congratulations Jennifer. Jennifer. And then the third one, which was by far the most popular, not surprising, was the beautiful Sunflower Project Bag. And we had 199 comments for that one. And our winner is either Lucia or Lucia Bomier. So congratulations to all three of you. Please send us your information and we will get those out uh, sometime next week. Yes. So thank you very much. Um, I think the last thing we have to share is some exciting news. Yes. Uh, we told you on our last episode a little bit about the retreat that we host and we said we would let you know if we have spaces and we have had a few cancellations and so we have a few spaces. So. Here's what you're gonna do. Um, we only have, I think, two, maybe three spaces open, and we know we'll probably have more than three people are interested. 
So there will be a link in the description to my blog and you will read the information there. It will tell you when the retreat is, how much it costs, where, where it is. is. Um, we do have a special requirement this year related to COVID, so please make sure you read that one so we can make sure everybody stays as safe as possible. And then if that all works for you and you're interested, you'll send us an email. And mom will be watching the emails. The first person that comes in and says, I'm interested in going, we'll have first dibs. We'll give her a few days to get a registration form and a check-in. Um, and it, then we'll start going down the list. We will take more on the wait list um, because we do expect, and we know it happens, you know, here or there, somebody happens to drop out. So we'll keep a wait list probably up to about 10 stitchers. Um, but hopefully a couple of you will be able to join us in August. And if you if you are interested and you please put the, the word retreat in the subject line so that yeah. I pick it up. Not that we get that many emails, yeah. but um, just make sure you put the word retreat right. so I catch it right away. Yeah, you won't do it by commenting on YouTube here. Right. You won't do it anywhere else, Instagram, none of that. You will do it by following the directions and sending an email to us with um, the comment that you're interested in the retreat. Yes. Yeah, okay, um, good. I think that's it. I think that's everything. Anything else uh, you have planned coming up? No, it's going to be a quiet weekend. I don't know. We're yeah. probably going to do maybe try and do some cookout. Or it's a little chilly here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it, it was 45 overnight, which is surprising for May because sometimes yeah. it's like 90 and during the day. And so it's, it's windy and it's quite cool, which is yeah. good. And the exciting part was we live just north of the Speedway. And this morning the, uh, they do a flyover every year. Um, the, the jets and I'm not sure whether it's the Air National Guard or the Army or the Navy or whoever it is But they were practicing today and two of them were flying over yeah. and they, they made about five or six passes And I'm a pilot as is my husband and um, Jennifer's grown up around planes and everything yeah. else And so as a result it was pretty exciting and we were hanging out cool. the window watching <laughs> yeah. You know they just kind of zip by and it's like wow that's you not a the 150 sound is and, it? and we all ran to the windows it was fun. as they were departing yeah. because they're so fast yeah. So that was neat. So and and um, sometimes if the wind is right, we can even hear the cars when they're racing around the track. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Well, definitely we weekend. we aren't what you would call a car racing. Fans, we are not car racing. But we fans. do enjoy the Indy 500. Yeah. It kind of permeates yeah. the whole city. We probably should have yeah. worn black and white yes, today, yes. but um, it it is fun. It's it's a big uh, boost for the city, and yeah. it's a fun activity, and we enjoy learning about the drivers through the month and watching the race and seeing the great crashes. Yep. And yeah. then, boy, the people watching is great. Oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> okay, I will tell you this. Probably I shouldn't, I shouldn't. But the first year we were here, you know, Jennifer said, oh, let me take you down by the Speedway and show you how many people are there and everything. Well, there's a, a two-lane two road that goes uh, in front of the Speedway. And just to the west of that, there's a very large grassy area. And people camp out there and for days. Mm -hmm. And the people in Speedway pay their their yearly home taxes, you know, real estate yeah. taxes, by by renting out space in their front yards um, for p people to park Parking and everything, and camping, they and they return yeah. and everything. And so as we were driving down the strip with all the tents and everything, Jennifer was driving, which was a good thing. There was a, a guy out there holding up a time a, a sign that said "free mammograms," which I thought was really nice of him. Get your boobs checked the, here. The best part. Do you remember this? It was a piece of plywood, and it said free mammograms, and there were two holes in the plywood. Two <laughs> round holes in the plywood. Yeah. We yeah. didn't stop. No. We didn't stop. No. <laughs> Only because my husband was with us, right? But... <laughs> But it is fun. I mean, and, and everybody's excited because last year they ran it with no spectators. Yeah. And this year they're allowing a limited number. There's only going to be 135,000 yeah. people there. Normally it's closer to, what, 400,000? 250. 250, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But it's 135, which is great for the town of Speedway because everybody's been struggling through the pandemic. Yeah. And it's and just even the whole town, you know, it, it picks up uh, business and everything else. So yeah. it's, it's an exciting weekend. It'll be fun yeah. to see the flyover tomorrow. That's always fun to yeah. watch. We always kind of hang out the windows and watch that. Yeah. Well, so. I hope to get a little bit of quilting progress made. I have another baby quilt to work on. Um, I'd like to get some good progress, if not finished on that this weekend. And then I stole one of mom's unfinished uh, quilts that was in a quilt top and said, I'll quilt that for you. So hopefully and I'll get, I can... She said, get the backing and the fabric done. And it was only small. It's like a flag. Yeah. And she said, and you can have it for Memorial Day. So guess I what? I said 4th of July. 
Uh-uh. I you said I Memorial. Said no, you said Memorial Day. No, but anyway, she'll get it done before Christmas. <laughs> yeah, and so it'll be. I'll fun. get it done definitely before Fourth of July. Okay, thank maybe, you. maybe we'll see. <laughs> it it's depends. only this big. It we're depends not how much we did surround today. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But um, alrighty. Well, now yes. we're just now we're just That's running on. Silly. Okay. But, uh, thank you for the Mother's Day wishes. We really blew yes. it the last time. Not wishing those of you who were celebrating Mother's Day to have a happy Mother's Day. Whether you're, you know, um, um, any kind of mom. And everybody is yeah. some kind of mom. So um, we had a great time. We had fun. And we went and had sushi. Yeah. <laughs> Which good. we love. Yeah. We love, we love. Yeah. And if you're ever in Indy, we'll tell you where to get the best sushi in town. Yeah. So um, thank you very much. Yeah. Have a great weekend. We'll Stay be back. safe. I think no, no plans for another bonus episode no, anytime right soon. Now. So we'll mm -hmm. be back probably in another three weeks to show so. you uh, what's happened with all of, <laughs> all of this. Yeah. <laughs> if we can find it all again. Uh, so okay. send us your email with your uh, names for our winners and send an email labeled retreat if you're interested in coming to the retreat and um, we wish you well. Yeah. Have a, have a good weekend. Bye. <laughs>